and um, all the images was um, shot at an epic location. So what we decided to do is uh, do a behind the scenes uh, with our handy dandy uh, flip. Um, pretty much all it is was just a point and shoot and uh, hopefully that it went well. Um, we just wanted to showcase how everything was done um, within that day because it was a very um, hectic long day but as you can see the images went well. We want to give a special shout out to uh, Denise and Ali, especially Ali uh, for letting us uh, use their um, their location. It's an actual um, historical location um, in uh, Corona and it we, it was pretty amazing. So um, thank yous both so much for all your help and helping to organize everybody and showing us and walking us around. Yeah. And everybody was very friendly. So we had a great time at the shoot. It was pretty cool. So um, don't forget to uh, watch Twilight Breaking Dawn Part Two on November sixteenth. Um, you'll see Marissa. And um, don't forget to go to our website to uh, check out the rest of the images, our collection of the Blanca floor, www.blanketphotography.com. Stephanie Gines with Blinket Photography just wanted to go over our spectacular shoot with Marissa Quinn from Twilight uh, Breaking Dawn Saga Part 2. Yeah, it was amazing. It's a, a vanguard shoot which we really specialize in. Um, the story is based on a, a Latin version of Snow White, uh, Blanca Flor. So in the beginning is um, what we did is uh, we incorporate her just being um, the actual princess. Um, white dress, and then um, everything's happy, happy go happy. lucky, and then it goes. Then it turns to a dark twist. Yeah. Look down, and then look up at me. Yeah. Check out just this bitch right there, eyes on me. So when she starts wearing the um, necklace, um, as you can see, she's uh, lying down on this picture right here. And then on the right-hand side is Marissa as well. She's actually um, looking at herself um, being transformed into the um, evil. big group of amazing people that are in the business that do a lot of these kind of shoots. And Beth was working on the hair and Equala did the makeup. And Art did her jewelry line. She has her own jewelry line which she handcrafts and makes all the jewelry herself. So we tied in the necklace piece as well as some of the other pieces for the other dresses. And Carolina and Oxia, her assistant, uh, they worked great together. And then it, it, it would go 
goes um, to the next scene, which is um, Pathway to the Darkness, which is now she's turning uh, really, really dark. And then at the very end, we incorporate the very high, high fashion, avant-garde look to it. We took a pile of rubble and intertwined the, the pictures together. And to make it look like a, a dress that's uh, like a train dress of uh, rubble. Get it. <laughs> 